Hey, welcome back to the garden pit. Yeah, I just finished digging uh, the rest of my potatoes out of the garden today. Uh, I dug some up on Wednesday, did about half the plot then, and then I dug the rest of them up this morning. It's a uh, Sunday morning here, uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm a sweaty, dirty mess right now. It's very, very humid out here. They're getting some of the uh, humidity from the uh, remnants of Hurricane Isaac. It's still out to the west of us, but it, uh, it's all flowing towards here. Uh, got about a third of an inch of rain yesterday. So I thought I'd better get out here and dig the rest of these today. And uh, before this, uh, the rest of this rain gets in here, they're going for a bunch of rain. So that's what I did this morning. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to probably do another potato reveal out of the bag here too uh, on another video this morning I have a bunch of plants that I dug up I'm gonna uh, plant them in the bags there and see if I can get uh, some potatoes for the fall here they are you see this thing here this thing works great if in mosquito territory it does keep the mosquitoes away I was out there digging this morning and they were trying to eat me up. I bought that thing back out, turned it on. No more mosquitoes. So, uh, uh, be the before shot, I'm sh gonna, sh I showed you, uh, I'm show I'm going to show you of the garden there. I shot on Wednesday, I'm gonna show you the after shot right now, so hold on. Well, here's the potato plot here. Overgrown with weeds. Get ready to dig it up. It's our time to dig up some treasure. There's a few potatoes that sprouted. I'm going to plant them in a bag and uh, see if I can get anything out of them for the fall. So, when I get done, I'll show you my results there. I'm not going to uh, show you me digging them. They're going to take too long. So, uh, we'll see you when I get done digging them. Alright, here's the old plot. After I dug it up, oh, this is fun. As you can see, there's tree roots in here. Probably about halfway up. I don't know if you can see them up on top. But uh, they made it real fun. It was real bad down this end. You got a tree there. Tree, and there's another tree over here. I'm sure it's sending roots over here. I'm gonna till this thing real good knock some of them roots out. Alright, I'm getting ready to show you the potatoes I dug up. Uh, the bumper crop compared to last year. If you see my video last year, it wasn't a whole lot. So here we go. This is the French fingerlings. Yeah, they did okay. I don't think I'll grow those anymore. They didn't uh, produce a whole lot. This is the Augusta. These um, didn't do too bad. They're not a very big potato. I guess you could consider those a salad potato the size they are. But uh, they're supposed to have uh, yellow flesh like a uh, Yukon Gold. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd give them a try. This is the Purple Viking. Now I didn't get a lot of potatoes, but I got some nice sized potatoes out of them. Just to give you a little, and I'll show you the size of these bad boys. I got a bunch of nice sized ones out of that. I'm pretty pleased. These are like a purple with some orange mixed in on the skin. And the flesh is supposed to be white. And they say it's supposed to get a kind of a sweet taste to it and get sweeter as you store them. Uh, not as sweet as a sweet potato, but uh, I haven't tasted them yet, but I'm looking All forward right, to it. Here's your Russian bananas. Yeah, they uh, produce very well. A pain in the... Whoa! Damn locust. Pain in the butt to uh, dig up because they're so small. These would be uh, ideal to plant in a bag. That's what uh, ended up... Uh, uh, popping up out, <clears throat> out in the garden. Uh, 
they seems like you gotta dig them as soon as they die off because uh, I had a lot of them sprout and I had to knock, knock the uh, sprouts off them. But there's a real one cool looking potato in here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna pick it up. Look at that thing, it's a heart shape. Cool looking, huh? Alright, here's the red norlin. Well, they don't do too bad. A pretty uniform potato there, are some smaller ones in there. I'll probably get all the real small ones and make a stew and just wash them off and throw them right in the, in the pot there. No cut involved. But uh, that's the old potato crop for 2012 here at the garden pit. Real nice looking uh, bunch of potatoes here. I'm real pleased with uh, the results this year. As hopefully these will store well and I'll have potatoes for a good while. But uh, that's it for the potato crop. Yeah. Like I said, I'm uh, real pleased with the potato crop this year. Uh, now I gotta get all those things put in the bucket and get them to a place where I can put them uh, out and uh, let them cure before I start before I store them there. I gotta get them out of the light and everything because uh, you don't want them in the light. They'll turn green and then they're poisonous. Then you don't want them to make you sick. But uh, <clears throat> that's it for this this video here. I'm gonna do a, like I said. I'm gonna do another potato reveal so I can plant these other plants that came up. I have uh, nine nine of the Russian banana plants and then I have one of the red northerns that started to sprout. I'm going to stick that in. I'm going to do two bags put five in each bag and see what I can get out of the bags there for the fall. There. Maybe I'll have some potatoes for Thanksgiving. Some new potatoes. Thanks for watching. See you later.